Hi everyone, it's Bitcoin from the Big Chubowski back for Grand Arena. Uh, happy to be back. Now, I've been sleeping great actually, other than last night, for whatever reason. Uh, yesterday was a pretty stressful day, but uh, I really managed to like take some time off and recover a bit over the past month. So I was very happy I did that, uh, as things are much better now. Um, for this season, I'm hoping to give it a good shot in the last one. Uh, I don't think a whole lot of noteworthy stuff happened. It wasn't really uh, like a super fun season or anything, no super interesting matches or anything like that. I was just mostly looking forward to this new format with new teams. And for my first round, I'm finding a guy called Wally. I messaged him to let him know that since he has two Galactic Legends and I have four, uh, I'm actually only going to set one on defense to still provide him the choice to either keep both for offense or set one on defense. Um, so I let him know that, so there might be a Galactic Legend waiting for me in the back, uh, since there isn't one in the front. But a uh, little bit of a mismatch here, though he does have a ridiculous amount of Relic 7s. Uh, so those will be an interesting challenge to fight. But uh, yeah, let's just show you what he's got. He's from the guild Inglorious Blasters, 541k lifetime, etc. So, uh, he already attacked. Now, at first, he only really attacked the General Skywalker team over here and uh, only took out fives and then didn't do anything anymore. I think that was in the morning when I woke up. Uh, and then, I think a couple hours ago or something, he started attacking here as well. Took out two teams, but didn't really do much since. So, I don't really know what he's doing. Either he's spreading out his attacks, which I'll probably have to do as well, as I'm relatively busy today, too. Uh, or he's, I don't know, kind of sort of giving up. I'm not really sure what he's doing. But uh, in his front wall up top here, he's got that very strong new team. That's definitely one I should not be underestimating with the Relic for Droidica. Uh, honestly, don't have a whole lot of options against that even, I think, with uh, everything that I've set. Then the Night Sisters, those are, yeah, you know, the, the usual thing. Uh, I could probably even solo that with Kylo Ren, which I might end up doing. And then that Aura team, I hadn't actually seen that before. It's kind of a nice idea where Aura stealths Grief and herself, and then it's just Nest out there. It's kind of like the Maul team, but uh, with Bounty Hunters in this case. Then the Geos, uh, which is why I said my Triumvirate on defense, they're not going to beat this Relic 3 stuff. And then the biggest waste of what I have ever seen in Grand Arena, I think. I'm, I'm sure you could set something worse, but people just haven't but I mean Poggle, what and Magna uh, I might have to eat my words maybe some lower damage team could time out on it but like I just yeah I, d I just don't really get it uh, very odd team but maybe I'll uh, learn something new today so then down here he's got Grievous, Night Sisters, uh, Shakti team with Ark and Fives you don't see that combination too often and then a Hux team with Hux at Relic 7 um, so overall, pretty strong wall here, down here. So I'll have to get through this without using too many of my uh, toughest teams. Because for all I know, he has some in the back. And I would ideally like to full clear this first match. As uh, I've heard from quite a few other content creators that their opponents went surprisingly heavy on defense. I think there's been this misconception that everyone was going to go light on defense at first to ensure a full clear. But that really doesn't seem to be how it's playing out. And I actually haven't shown you my back wall. Uh, that's where I have Supreme Leader Kylo and then some relatively lighter teams actually because my front is quite heavy so if he doesn't get through the front wall uh, I'll feel like I went way too heavy on defense but it's hard to predict this guy tends to go offense heavy so I thought oh well you know if I go a little bit more on defense then uh, it's gonna make it a good match but it doesn't look like that's how things are playing out so maybe I'm gonna be fighting a back wall that I actually can't clear um, we'll have to find out in a moment. So I consider doing Nest against the Shaq Arc team, but I feel like if Arc is buffed up by Shaq and like buffed up a couple times with that heal, he could probably one shot my Nest. So that's not an option I really want to take. Uh, and I think I'll get started against the Night Sisters team first, actually, with my first order. Uh, it's not an easy match. Uh, I want to save Kylo Ren there, so I'm going to be bringing Sith Trooper. So he can buff up the team and then I guess Officer as the third. Uh, this was a team I felt made most sense because I've got some uh, passing of turns, I've got some cleansing against the stuns that they have. So uh, hopefully this is going to do okay. 
and I'd kind of like to save Watt for the back or some other composition. Otherwise, I could have obviously brought uh, Watt in here. So, uh, ideally, I'd like to stun Spirit first. I don't really want to give that one the chance to do anything. And immediately also get the Tenacity up, which Asajj will probably dispel. But, uh, I mean, I've got to deal with it. Uh, not any particular reason to AoE here, so I might as well immediately go after Daka. Okay, no stuns there, that's great to see. Uh, put the advantage up here. And I'll push the turn meter back on Massage. Though she gained a bunch there, I guess. Uh, make sure that I'm taunting again. Strip the foresight from Spirit, that's always a really important little detail that people can uh, easily overlook. Uh, I think I'll unstun this guy. Keep Spirit under control for now. Okay, that's the heal, uh, sort of, sorry, the revive wasted, that's what I wanted to see there. Because now I can easily pick off Ventress. I could try to keep taunting here, but I mean, Daka is going to hit around the taunt anyway with that uh, double basic that she has. So it didn't seem like that attractive of an option. Uh, since I can't taunt with Kylo on a mass right now, I'll pass to him. So that I can also strip the foresight here. Then get a stun in on Daka so she can't revive. And I'll take a hit there, but as you can see, it's barely anything. I immediately cleanse it. And take out Daka. Now, hopefully... There we go. Should be a 54 here. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I'm glad I didn't totally screw that up after uh, taking a bit of a break for the last month. So of course I played Grand Arena, but 3v3 has uh, for everyone been a while. So I'll go against Grievous next, and that's where I'll be using Ray. Uh, if he does have a Galactic Legend on defense, or he has both, then it's going to be SLK, obviously, and his SEE. So if I keep my SEE and JML for uh, the back wall, then I should be able to stand a chance to full clear. But uh, obviously don't know that until it happens. Uh, so I'll go in with Ray over here. And just do some lifeblood shenanigans. Take out Grievous. And then probably restart the game after this fight because I already feel like I'm lagging. Which is always deeply concerning. And heal back to full. Make sure I keep the lifeblood and the healing up so I can hopefully get 56 for this one. Or, I mean, I can also just ultimate B2 out. Which I might as well do. And then I'll do one lifeblood here to make sure I have full protection. And then just basic B1 down. Okay. Then for the other one... The Shaq team, I don't really like that one. I don't feel comfortable with too many of the counters that I have. Uh, Shaq fortunately isn't super healthy, also not particularly fast. So what I was thinking of doing here is going in with Rebels. And uh, using Wedge, Han and Chewie. And then seeing if I can uh, just shoot out Shaq at the beginning. And then heal up afterwards, that's the basic idea. Right, I was going to restart. Already forgot. Okay, that's pretty low, but Han is not full enough. Uh, and Shaq is gaining turn meter here, which is a bit annoying because that means she's going to cleanse. Hmm. I'll just put the buffs up for now. Dispel that. Okay, Shaq down. That's good. Chewie taking a very... Ugh. Very, very heavy beating there. I might not make this. Fives is too strong. Uh, the retribution is a big issue. And no assists here either. Yeah, that's a problem. I think fives just out heals me as well. There's nothing I can do here. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much a game over. So I might as well just pick off fives by hitting arc here. 
And maybe I can win this one on one, but I very, very highly doubt it. Hmm. That's looking pretty good. Ugh. Oh my good grief. 47 still. Well, not uh, something to be repeated. I wasn't really sure what to do there to be cheap, and that's like seven banners thrown away there. Um, not much I could have done different, I think. It's just not a good counter. Alright, then the Hux team. There I was thinking of using Tarkin, Vader, and Thrawn. Uh, making Thrawn very fast so I can control Hux. And from there on out I should be good. Okay, oh, I just want to show you my favorite new toy, Dark Trooper. Uh, it's been really awesome having him. This one's really a lot of fun. I hope to use him sometime this match. But uh, just didn't want to quite do it in the front yet. So anyway, this one. Okay, so as you can see, you're just barely outrunning Hux. Which allows me to fracture him. Go into Merciless. And then I'm going to do this one here so he doesn't counter. Um, try to pick off Kylo Ren. I highly doubt I'll get there, but it's worth a shot, okay. Um, I feel like I should kill him. Or try to, I won't kill him, but... Uh, and now I think it's probably actually best AoE. Because this only gives 15% turn meter for each debuffed enemy, which won't allow me to go. And I really don't want Kylo Ren to move, even if it's just a basic. So I'll do the AoE here. It's just a 4k, but, you know, it gets the job done. Um, hit Hux here, debuff them now. Uh, now I kind of have to go through this guy. Didn't really think that part through enough, I think. Swap to Vader. No Merciless yet, but I think this will kill. No, oof, not even close. Absolutely disgusting. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, that's all the banners gone. That's gonna be a 51 at best. Stun this guy, maybe. Very big, maybe. I can recover. Nah, even. I think even if I swap the Tarkin, I don't get there. Let's try. Hope I don't get countered here. I did, so yeah, that's uh, that's not gonna work. Ah, uh, Thrawn should count actually. So I'll take that. That's still a uh, one banner more. And let's check out his back wall. See uh, if it was worth saving stuff. Okay, that's. Hmm. I was gonna say it's a little bit lighter, but it honestly doesn't feel that way with the Relic 7 Bosk with Beskar Mando. That one I'll definitely have to GL. His Bounty Hunters are also pretty strong. Uh, but it's, that might be where I end up using Troopers, because you can get the double kills on all the Bounty Hunters. So that's a good turn meter train. Uh, yeah, tough defense. No feats for me, I think. Unless I intentionally drop a battle, which... I don't know, might end up doing that. So I'll move up top then and go against the Newt team. Now I figured with Newt in there, uh, SCE would make most sense. Because I can just link Drodica and Dooku, which are the biggest dam damage dealers and Newt doesn't really add that much. So I hope this is sufficient. If not, then we just discovered an amazing cleanup team, but uh, I'm doubting it, we'll see. Because the extortion is going to keep me busy for a while, but I'm not going to pay it up. I don't think it really makes sense. I'll just uh, get started on Newt. That's a good bit of damage already. And I guess the shock is going to prevent me from uh, recovering protection. Which I could do here. I might as well get the first kill now. And then go into ultimate and finish them off. I won't get full protection, obviously it's uh, too much of a stretch. Fortunately the damage immunity isn't an issue. Ability block is though. Um, I guess I'll just have to wait around. Or just pick off Dooku first whenever I can. Yep, probably a solid option. 
So then the Night Sister team here. So as mentioned, I think Kylo Ren can do this. I did it in the past against the Gear 12,000, and it just didn't seem like the like the added gear levels on her would make any difference because this guy is just really OP against Plague. Look at that. There's just no damage. Doesn't matter at all what she does, and I immediately heal to full. So it's just a matter of taking my time and gradually taking them down with AoEs. And using that last special whenever needed to recover protection. So it's like, it's a nice idea for a timeout team. Uh, a very popular one as well, but this is such a cheap counter that I think a lot of people keep for offense as well. That it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to set it anymore. He just completely ignores the uh, plague damage. And we've got the two kills now for Zombie to stop reviving. Healing immunity on Talzin even. Just gotta try to ensure that I also have full protection. Just gonna kill Acolyte. Uh, I don't want to AoE here because that would prevent me from getting the full banners. That actually worked quite nicely, because now I can finish it like this, and hope I don't lose the protection. Hmm, might be tricky. Okay, got it. So there you go, that's how you do it. Doesn't matter what relic levels they have, I think. Even relic 7,000, relic 7 acolyte wouldn't make any difference at all. So I figured that's what I'd go with. Now, I was thinking of using the troopers, I said earlier that I was going to use the troopers against the bounty hunters. But actually the toughest team for me to pick apart I think would be Geos because I have used up most of the sort of logical counters and I wouldn't want to use JML on that one. So I was thinking of actually using troopers there. Uh, just Veers, Piet and Dark Trooper. I could swap, swap something out, I could leave Piet out and put in Stark for example, but I'm not sure it really adds any value. Uh, kind of the same idea with Gideon. So I'd much rather uh, go with these three and see what I can do with that. So we put this one over there. Uh, AoEs are also like pretty sweet here. But why would you AoE when you can just one hit an individual and get the Terminator train going? That was uh, my thought anyway. So I might as well just immediately go for Jubert Alpha here. Because I don't think it makes any difference in terms of uh, health and protection with uh, Sunfac. Now it would be a good time to AoE, I think. And then just pick off the Lonely Spy for a 54. Which leaves us with the Aura team and the Poggle team. Right, let's go in on Aura here. I was thinking of using Resistance because I can just stall on uh, Nest in the end, hopefully. It's a bit more difficult in 3v3, but I think it should be possible. And I didn't actually check the uh, Tenacity on Nest, though I'm gonna land Tenacity down actually. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there we go, got the stun. Should be fine from here on out. I don't think I'll even uh, drop a whole lot of banners anymore, or protection rather. I guess talking about banners is a bit too early before you wrap up the fight. Uh, okay. They're not like here really trying to look at it. I don't know if I can keep Nest under control. She's about to take a turn. Okay, Aura nearly down. Good. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. So let's give that a shot. Uh, due to pretty high damage, I don't think I'll have trouble getting through Magna. Always gotta remind myself which is the stun or the daze, but it actually doesn't matter because of the tank tech. 
So uh, I'll just let that be what it is. Okay, now I just need to make sure that what here does not revive Magna. Which he, of course, gets a chance to do because I don't really have any means of control. But uh, that countering is pretty neat. Just one more AoE on what should be... Okay, well, that works too. So now what I'm kind of considering is uh, there's this Rogue One feat. And I figured it could be nice to get that on Boggle. Because Poggle's pretty harmless, he doesn't have an AoE, he can really only strip a protection banner from Baze. Uh, though I guess Baze will stop taunting at some point, so maybe not. Uh, I just The thing is, I don't, just don't really see any other way for me to get the feat done. I don't expect any opponents to set a very light defense. Uh, this might be gambling a bit, but I need to lower him. Stand a good chance of getting him down. And I think I'll leave it here and let it time out. Because my opponent already dropped a battle on the General Skywalker team, so at best, if he manages to clear, uh, it would be a tie on, uh, uh, well, based on that loss, and then he needs to be more efficient than me, so. Uh, actually, on second thought, I just realized I wanted to use Nest against the team in the back, and if I do that and it fails for whatever reason, then... Uh, that would be a better team to clean up with Rogue One. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one, actually. Which made me end at 52, even though that AoE should recover protection. So it already feels like a mistake, but whatever. Okay. That's a nice fleet defense to see. Uh, yeah, let me go in on this one. Though I'm not super convinced that... Uh, Cleaning up Quill. Well, just any of these. Like two out of three or something. Not convinced that's gonna go super well. Uh, Quill definitely needs to go down first. Because he's definitely got the potency to keep stunning me. And actually, I don't think there's anything for me to dispel, so... Hmm. This does have... Besides that taunt, actually. So this does have some timeout potential. And not to forget the shock, which prevents me from healing. Yeah, this is why I wanted to be cautious. I felt like there was something I was overlooking. Maybe look a bit deeper into the kit, I would have found it. But uh, besides that one hit from... Ooh, okay. I eat those words. I was going to say besides that one hit from Kara, I should be fine. But there's more to it. Quill can still hit pretty hard as well. So let's see if I can at least pick off Lando. Very good. And now I'm dead. Yep. Okay, so it kind of went as expected. Problem is I don't think I can... Well, I'm saying expected. I was hoping I would be able to solo that. But the shock is definitely a problem. We check the potency on that quill. Smothered him for it. Hmm. He landed it every time though. It's gotta be in here, yeah. Well, IG isn't an ally and... Normally seeing... I have no idea, it's one of those things. I don't know if quill gives this to himself. It's not written that way, but it probably does work that way. Uh, okay, that's a good learning. But yeah, I'm not convinced that Rogue One can actually clear this. Because they do plenty of damage and I just have some pleb gear 12s. Yeah, that's not happening. Even uh, with Jin Urso lead, who's super weak for me with the exposes, I don't see it happening. Uh, okay, that's too bad. Let's go for Beskar Mando then. I will do a solo there. Uh, what do I want to do even? Let's just go straight for him. There's not much point in wasting time on the others. It's going to take forever. Uh, foresight on everyone. 
So this one's going to take a little bit. Uh, also with the tenacity up. And at some point IG is going to heal, I think. Just go straight for boss and then do IG in the end. I should probably start reducing and dazing and ability blocking. There we go. And I'll have to get rid of Django first, I think. Mando obviously has the uh, very tricky... I could have maybe gone with the Pastilla there for an ability block, but I think I can take him. Yep, pretty easy there. Uh, then I'll take him out. Wow, big one. Just so that he never has a chance of getting his contract. Yeah, I thought he might throw one of those out there, but uh, fortunately it wasn't a problem, even for the protection, yet anyway. He might just get there. This one's going to be a bit time-consuming. Fortunately for me, I can steal the buff, so I don't really need Pastilla myself. Uh, and I can just go straight for Jolie, which he can't really do. The crit immunity is going to make this take a very long time, though. I should have waited with that until Pastilla shared buffs. That's not too smart. Oof. This could end up a really interesting fight. Um, okay, take this. Share that, and I think it's just going to be direct focuses doing the bulk of the damage here on Jolie. 21k. Uh, I can... Is there much to steal from Bastilla? Yes, but... Let's do it, because I also don't hit Grandmaster Yoda here, as he's still at Foresight. Yeah, this should be fine. It's pretty difficult for them to get a kill as well, unless the AI focuses pretty hard. And steal the buffs once more, finish off Jolie. And now I can start going for... There go Master Yoda, which is a pretty quick kill. And see if I can get my Jedi Knight Revan to full. So instead of calling Grandmaster Yoda from this point out, uh, I feel like it's better to call JKR, even though, I mean, the fight's practically over. Let's call Jolie here. Nope, big hit with the crit damage up, I guess. Okay, this one, let's go with Night Sisters. I think that has an okay chance at a 54. Really just trying to get good scores on the teams, obviously. Like I could have brought Kira or something with an S team, and that should have maybe, although nah, with the shock there, not sure that one would have been a 54 either. But just uh, something different. So I'm gonna let him be, I don't think I really need to AOE here. I'm just gonna go for the group attack. Hmm, not super happy with that. I was really hoping for a stun there, so let's do this. Uh, Spirit's still okay. So that one ended up costing me two banners. Yeah, that's the uh, RNG of that fight, I guess. It's the same with Finn Heroes, if you don't stun one or two of them, then uh, you'll drop a banner or two. With just the one reinforcement. It's been a while, so... Let's see if everything goes according to plan. It's not the most complicated fight, but... If you want to try to get good banners, it can be a little bit tricky. 
around this stage here. So I always go for the ability block on Rebel Y-Wing so that he doesn't use the disruption thing. But I've seen people do a lot of... or a lot. It's not entirely fair. I've seen people do a bunch of different things there. And I'm not entirely sure yet what's the best uh, approach. But I quite like this one because it's consistent, most of all. So that one never kills. And this comes in and it always kills. And now... No, okay, he got a reinforcement and that's fast. wonder if he has a relic Akbar or something that I didn't look into. Uh, I have to go for the stun, which I didn't get. So this, I suppose, is where I drop some banners. Uh, at least, fortunately, it wasn't the Phantom. Because that would mean I'm about to get hit by another reinforcement. And that would drop banners. So this is a 64 normally seen. It has 65 potential. But uh, I can't really complain about this. Now, Tarkin with Geos, that's just super odd. Uh, I might have missed this in my scouting, but... Gonna take a wild guess here that he does not have... Malevolence, yeah. Wow. Okay, so yeah, here you have it, the Relic Akbar. If I would have checked that, I would have known that one was gonna come in. Uh, no Malevolence at all. Hmm. Don't see that too much anymore. In case uh, it gets that far. I don't really know. Like, obviously, most of you probably won't know, like, how... how uh, sort of far does this fight get before you just wipe all of them out. But we're about to find that out. If Fives has it in him, I don't think he does. Sunfak is, uh, is a relic Sunfak as well. And then the AoE comes in, so I do really want Blow to come in as well. Yeah, That's what I thought might happen. And now we're full. And get uh, 68 or something? What is that? 69. Yeah, this one was such an unnecessary loss, but let's think if I wouldn't have used Nest. I mean, I could have thrown in what, I suppose. Uh, but part of me was kind of hoping I would take out two characters. Or, you know, like almost take out three, but then just let the fight time out and let uh, my cleanup team handle it of Rogue One. Um, I don't think there's a lot of banners I can additionally lose, though, by just picking someone off here. My only concern is, I think even Quill by himself would kind of just murder my Rogue One team. And the same with Kara. Kind of blast through them, leave them with a little bit of health, and then time it out. Something like that. And if I accidentally kill them, then I'm guessing at least it would be for full banners. So I'll pick off Kara first. I think she's probably the biggest trouble of the two. There we go. And then Quill, I'm just gonna lower. I think the right play here is to just uh, two shot this one, or three shot rather, sorry. I'm able to. I'm not sure though, it's gonna be really tricky. I think chances are that I'll accidentally kill him. Uh, and when he takes a turn, he heals. Yeah, no, I think Rogue One can finish this. It should be possible, in theory. Especially with the base preton. So I'm gonna let this time out and do that. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be, let's say, a bit annoyed. There we go, we got the burning. See, I can't stun this guy that I know. Grant another 100% uh, turn meter. Let's do Chirrut here. Oh boy, he's healing so much. That is actually a bit insane. Uh, let's dispel that. But all of the... 
Exposes get resisted. There we go. Let's do this. Nice. Wow, mowed him down real good there. So yeah, you drop the additional 10 banners or something for the third attempt, but felt like it was worth it just to get that feat done. Uh, since I already messed it up anyway. And if you do it on a fresh fight in another round, that's 20 banners gone. So this just seemed like the best trade. It's only for 80 banners, but... Hey, who knows, that might end up mattering towards Kyber, so... Never take those things for granted, and if you have the freedom to... Get it done that way, then just do that. Uh, I don't know if he's still gonna attack, I can show you, I'll start editing the video probably. But I'm not expecting any wonders from him. Uh, score 31-36 is pretty good, I think, if you... Uh, 54 all the ground teams and you 65 the fleets. Then in Division 2 you should be getting like 3,170 banners. And that's for like a super efficient clear. Uh, I obviously dropped like 30-ish here uh, on that one team. If I hadn't done those then I'd be close actually to that pretty sweet number. So uh, like in general I think it did well. The nesting was just a bit risky. I should have maybe looked into that one a bit better. But lesson learned there and uh, I don't think it's going to end up hurting. We'll see though. Thanks for watching. Uh, if for whatever reason he changes stuff, I'll just add that at the end. But I think uh, or changes stuff, like if he actually ends up winning, I'll add that. But otherwise, I'll just see you in the next round. Hope your first one went well. Uh, I hope you're not looking up against 3v3 too much. I'm actually enjoying it and I think it's going to be a pretty interesting season. So see you all soon.